Hi, Gwen. Just want to see who needs to be with me. Koi and Gwen Beltran. Okay, I can see all of you. Okay, so today we're going to do some vocabulary and we're going to do some listening. Go to unit three. Okay, in the house. Okay, let's read the words together. You all have to read it. House. House. Oh. Apartment. Apartment. Good. This one. Kitchen. Kitchen. Living room. Living room. Bedroom. Boy, I can't hear you. And Quinn, I can't hear you. You can only hear Trent. We all have to read it. Bathroom. Bathroom. Chimney. 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 Roof. 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 Fort. 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 Mailbox. 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 Laundry room. Laundry room. Attic. Attic. Garden. 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 Stairs. Stairs. Parking lot. Parking, Parking lot. lot. Door. 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 Window. 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 Doorbell. 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 Yard. 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 No, it's not a yard. It's a yard. Yard. There we go. Garage. 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 Okay. Now, do you know the Vietnamese name for house? Yes. Okay. Apartment. What's the Vietnamese name for apartment? You know? Yeah. Quinn, Quinn, what's the Vietnamese name for apartment? Yes. Okay. Kitchen. Kitchen. What's the Vietnamese name for kitchen? Mm. Koi, what's the Vietnamese Nabi. name for kitchen? Nabi. Nabi. Okay. Okay. Quinn, what is the Vietnamese name for living room? Phong khách. Phong khách. Okay. Okay. Tran, Vietnamese name for bedroom? Phong ngủ. Phong ngủ. Okay. Bathroom, Quinn. Wait, chimney. Do you know the Vietnamese name for chimney? Mm, I don't know. Who knows? Okay, let me play it for you. Um, hi. Um, hi. Can you hear? Um, hi. Um, hi. Okay. Roof. Gwen, what's the Vietnamese name for roof? Um, Who knows roof? Um, um, hi. Uh, roof. Uh, my nhà. My nhà. Yes. Yes. 
Good. What is the Vietnamese name for porch, Tran? Porch. Okay. Mailbox. Who knows mailbox? Vietnamese name for mailbox. Oh. Oh, Good. Okay. Laundry room trend. What's the Vietnamese name for laundry room? Zon Phong. Tran? Uh. I can't hear you. Say it again. Phong giặt ui. Yes. Phong giặt ui. Okay. Attic. Who knows attic? Attic. Uh. Okay. Who knows garden? Poi, do you know garden? Uh, vườn. Is who okay. okay. Stairs. Who knows stairs? Ngôi sao. Okay. Tran. Parking lot. Bài đầu xe. The door. Cửa. Window. Cửa sổ. Doorbell. Cửa. Um. Who knows doorbell? Um. Did we play doorbell? Chung cửa. Hmm. You understand? Yes. Okay. Yard. Who knows yard? Do you know yard? Okay. Garage. Who knows garage? Yes. Garage. Okay, you all understand the words? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, let's go here. Number one. Okay. Uh, Tran, you can read number one for us. The cover on the top of a house. I think is roof. Yes, it is roof. Good. Okay, Quinn, number two. An ear cover with, with glass and around a house. How? An area covered with grass around a house. Quinn, what's that? Uh, uh. Beltran, you can help. It is yeah. Yeah. garden. Garden, yes. It's yeah. a yard, yes. A yard. A yard is the same as garden. Yard, yes. Tran number three. A set of rooms on each floor of a large building. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a part of the wow. mm -hmm. Okay, number four, Trong Kui. A room just below the room. Of a house. Mm. Say again. A uh, room just below the roof of a house. A room just below the roof of the house. Is yes. The door. 
It's what? Garage. Garage. No. What? Um, what do you say? Uh, no. A door? No, sweetie. Look again. Uh, attic. Yeah, attic. Yes. When number five. A lot flat. A bus piece. Uh, of wood. Over last that you open and close when you go into all our of the building. Uh, it is a door. Yes, can it be typed at the top of the roof of a house is a roof. An area covered is a yard. Now, the yard is the same as a garden, okay? A set of apartment, attic, and a door. Okay, let's do this one. Number one, um, Tran. Uh, in big cities, there are too many cars, but not enough parking lots. Yes. Parking lots. Gwen, number two. The baby woke up when the... Uh, doorbell rang. The baby woke up when the doorbell doorbell rang. Koi number three. The new place for The new paper really the newspaper delivery guy delivery guy put the new paper in our mailbox every morning. Number four, Tran. My dad fixed this. Or washes his car in the garage every weekend. Number five, Gwen. Mom is doing the laundry in the laundry room. Okay, good. Now we're going to do listening. Let's go to the listening part. Okay. Two, four. Primary step two, book one, unit three. Once you meet with a TurboTax expert who will do your taxes for you, you're free to do not taxes. With member prices, Expedia members can make ways, ride ways, and send ways. Oh, but this is not English. I know this is not English, and the English version. Here, let's see. Okay. No. Hang on, I'm just finding it. Here. 
here. Why is it not English? English listening. Listen and circle the correct answer. Listen to the girl. This is the entrance to a house. You have to push or pull a piece of wood to get into the house. If someone visits the house, he or she will knock on the surface of the wood. What is this place? Okay, Tran, what is this place? I think it's C. Okay, listen again. Hang on. Part one. Listen and circle the correct answers. Number one. Listen to the girl. This is the entrance to a house. You have to push or pull a piece of wood to get into the house. If someone visits the house, he or she will knock on the surface of the wood. What is this place? It's A. It's A. It's a door. Good. You need to knock on the door and push and pull the surface. Okay, number two. Number two. Listen to the boy. David likes reading books. His favorite reading spot is his bed. He spends a lot of time reading books on his bed. What is David's favorite reading spot? Gwen, what is David's reading spot? Uh, Number three. B. Yes, his bed. Okay, number three, let's listen. Listen to the boy. Hello, Josh. I just called to let you know that I'm going to come over to your house tonight to give you today's school newsletter. When I ring the doorbell, please open the door. What is the boy going to do? Hoi, what is the boy going to do? Is he? Okay, hang on, listen again. Number three. Listen to the boy. Hello, Josh. I just called to let you know that I'm going to come over to your house tonight to give you today's school newsletter. When I ring the doorbell, please open the door. Hi. Yes, he's going to come over to give the newsletter of the school. Okay, part two. Part two. Listen and answer the questions. Number one. Listen to the conversation between a boy and his mom. Mom, where are you? I'm in the laundry room. There you are. What are you doing? I was going to do the laundry, but I am out of detergent. Don't worry. I will run to the supermarket and get some for you. What will the boy do next? A. Go to his room. B. Buy laundry detergent. C. Do laundry. Okay, listen again. Number one. Tran? Listen to the conversation between a boy and his mom. Mom, where are you? I'm in the laundry room. There you are. What are you doing? I was going to do the laundry, but I am out of detergent. Don't worry. I will run to the supermarket and get some for you. What will the boy do next? A. Go to his room. B. Buy laundry detergent. C. Do laundry. Okay, Tran, what is the boy going to do? I think it's B. Yes, good. It is B.
Number two, listen to the conversation between a girl and her dad. What are you doing, dad? I'm making a new mailbox. Do you need some help? Why don't you get some paint from the shelf and paint the mailbox when I'm done? That sounds good. What will the girl do next? One. A. Paint the wall. B. Paint the mailbox. C. Make a new toy box. Um. You want to listen again? B. Yes. Good job. Well done. Okay, part three. Part three. Listen and answer the questions. Number one. Wait. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Cynthia. This is Max. I went to your house an hour ago to give you back the book I borrowed. I rang the doorbell three times, but nobody answered. So I left it in your mailbox. Please check the mailbox when you get this message. Why did Max go to Cynthia's house? A, to do homework with her. B, to pick up her book. C, to give a book back. Okay, Koi, why did Max go to Cynthia's house? Again. You want to listen again? Okay. Number one. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Cynthia. This is Max. I went to your house an hour ago to give you back the book I borrowed. I rang the doorbell three times, but nobody answered. So I left it in your mailbox. Please check the mailbox when you get this message. Why did Max go to Cynthia's house? A. To do homework with her. B. To pick up her book. C. To give a book back. What do you think, Corey? A. I. Okay, let's listen what he's saying. I went to your house an hour ago to give you back the book I borrowed. I went to your house an hour ago to give you back the book I borrowed. Okay, look for the answer, Koi. C. Yes, it's a book that he borrowed. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Julia. This is Jennifer. I am going to decorate my Christmas tree this Saturday evening. Would you like to come and decorate it with me? I will take out the boxes from the garage tomorrow. We can put some sheets up and decorate the tree together. It will be fun. Call me when you get this message. What does Jennifer want to do with Julia? Okay, I'm going to play it again. Number two. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Julia. This is Jennifer. I am going to decorate my Christmas tree this Saturday evening. Would you like to come and decorate it with me? I will take out the boxes from the garage tomorrow. We can order some pizza and decorate the tree together. It will be fun. Call me when you get this message. What does Jennifer want to do with Julia? A. Buy some Christmas tree ornaments. B. Put the boxes in the garage. C. Decorate a Christmas tree together. Okay, Tran, what do you think? I think it's C. Decorate a Christmas tree together. Uh, okay, good. 
Okay, let's do number four. Part four. Listen and answer the questions. Listen to the story of James and Peter. James and Peter are best friends. They usually play together at Peter's house. One day, James looked up at the ceiling and saw a small door. What is that, Peter? James asked. Oh, that's the door to the attic. I can't go up there. But maybe there is a ghost, Peter said. Ghosts? There's no such thing as ghosts, James said, laughing at Peter. Are real, Peter said. There is no ghost in the attic. Do you want your cat? James asked. And Peter thought for a minute. What if it were true? He asked. If I lose, James replied, I will call you Big Brother for a month. If I win, you call me Big Brother. Deal, Peter said. Okay, now I'm going to play it again. Number one. Where did James and Peter go? A. To the garage. B. To the attic. C. Part four. Okay. Um, Koi, where did James and Peter go? Did they go to the garage, the attic, or the backyard? Wait. Uh, what do you say again? To the attic. The attic, yes. Quinn, what did James and Peter see in the attic? C. E. Say again? C, e, some bosses. Some boxes, yes. Good job, you two. Tran, you will do the next answer. Okay. Okay. Listen to the advertisement. This newly renovated house is located in the center of Chicago. It has four bedrooms and three bathrooms. The balcony outside the master bedroom has an incredible lake view. The kitchen is equipped with appliances such as a refrigerator, an oven, a microwave, and a dishwasher. The bathrooms have double bowl sinks and separate showers and bathtubs. The garage is big enough to park three cars. Come and visit our open house this Saturday. I can't wait to show you the garden. Number three. What is the advertisement about? Okay, I'm going to play it again. Listen to the advertisement. This newly renovated house is located in the center of Chicago. It has four bedrooms and three bathrooms. 
The balcony outside the master bedroom has an incredible lake view. The kitchen is equipped with appliances such as a refrigerator, an oven, a microwave, and a dishwasher. The bathrooms have double bowl sinks and separate showers and bathtubs. The garage is big enough to park three cars. Now let's stop there. Tran, what is the advertisement about? I think it's A. Yes, it's about a new house. Now, uh, Hui, what is not true about the house in the advertisement? It's located in the center of Chicago. It has four bedrooms. The kitchen is not furnished. Let's listen. This newly renovated house is located in the center of Chicago. It has four bedrooms and three bathrooms. The balcony outside the master bedroom. This newly renovated house is located in the center of Chicago. It has four bedrooms and three bathrooms. The balcony outside the master bedroom has an incredible lake view. The kitchen is equipped with appliances such as a refrigerator. Okay, it says there the kitchen is equipped with appliances. Okay, Koi, what is not true about the kitchen? Uh, what is not true? It's C. It's C. It says the kitchen is not furnished, but it is because it's equipped with the appliances. Okay. What is happening on Saturday? Let's listen. Okay. A microwave and a dishwasher. The bathrooms have double bowl sinks and separate showers and bathtubs. The garage is big enough to park three cars. Come and visit our open house this Saturday. I can't wait to show you the garden. Okay, Quinn, what is happening this Saturday? Um, please. I. Let's have a look. Uh, Come and visit our open house this Saturday. I can't wait to show you the garden. Good. Okay. Number three. What is the advertisement about? A. A newly renovated house. B. A used car. Part one. Listen and fill in the blanks. Number one. This is the entrance to a house. Number one. This is the entrance to a house. Okay, Tran, what is she saying at number one? This is the? Is, this is the entrance to a house. Good, number two. Number two. His favorite reading spot is his bed. His favorite reading spot is his bed. Hoi? Where is his favorite reading spot? His favorite... Mm. His, his favorite, favorite spot is his bed. His favorite yes. read, favorite reading spot is his bed. Okay. Quinn, see if you can do number three. Number three. When I ring the doorbell, please open the door. When I ring the doorbell, please open the door. One, when I ring the doorbell, please open the door. When I ring the bell, the Caesar ring the door. When I when I ring the doorbell, please open the door. Let's listen.
when I ring the doorbell, please open the door. When I ring the doorbell, please open the door. Okay. Let's see, we've got time left. Listen and fill the blanks. Number one. Don't worry, I will run to this. I want to do a number. Okay, you must do the dictation. Okay, we can practice dictation too. Part two. Okay. I was going to do the laundry, but I am out of detergent. Trent, I was going to do the laundry. Quinn, but I was out of uh, I was going to the laundry. Do the laundry, but I am out of detergent. Do the laundry, but I am out of detergent. Out of detergent. Detergent. Okay. Uh, boy. Don't worry. I will run to the supermarket and get some for you. Don't worry. I will run to the supermarket and get some for you. I will run. I will run. Good. To the supermarket and get some for you. Why don't you get some? Do you need some help? Quinn. Number two, do you need? Uh, do you need? Do you? Uh, do you need some help? Uh, this time again. Do you need some help? What? Do you need some help? Do you need some help? Do you need some help? Okay, Trent. Why don't you get some paint from the shelf and paint the mailbox when I'm done? Why don't you get some paint from the shelf and paint the mailbox when I'm done? Okay, Trong Koi, why don't you? Why don't you get some paint from the shelf and paint the mailbox? Why don't you get some paint from the shelf and paint? Yes. Why don't you get some uh, paint? Some paint from the, the mailbox when I'm done. Why don't you get some paint from the shelf and paint the mailbox when I'm done? And, and mailbox when I'm done. And paint the mailbox paint when the I'm done. Good. Part three. Listen and fill in the blanks. Number one. 